We will talk about one of actually the most important algorithms in uh, distributed systems, which is the Pactus algorithm for achieving consensus. So again, let us remember uh, the consensus problem. Consensus has a number of properties. One is validity, which only proposed values may be decided. The other one is uniform agreement that says no two nodes decide different values. And then we have uh, integrity, which says a node can only decide a value at most once. You can only decide once. And of course, we want to achieve liveness. To achieve liveness, we have a termination property which says every node eventually decides a value. So the abstraction, as we know, nodes propose, and then we get one decision. So the assumptions that we are going to have uh, when we are dealing with uh, the Paxos algorithm is the following. We have again a partially uh, synchronous system. Partial synchrony is important here only for termination, so not for safety, so it's not for agreement, so only for termination. We are going to assume a fail noisy model. In particular, we are going to assume that we have omega, the eventual um, leader election uh, um, abstraction. And we are going to assume, in this case, message duplication, loss, and reordering. doesn't matter. And we will see also that very small modification will allow us to run consensus in the fail recovery model. So again, I'd, I want to stress that this algorithm is arguably the most important algorithm in distributed computing. By having uh, an efficient algorithm for achieving consensus, as we can see Paxus is, we will be able to implement a lot of different services, including atomic broadcast with total order, replicated state machines, and many other abstractions that are useful for building reliable fault-tolerant uh, systems. So the presentation that I'm going to have here is based on a paper by Lambert, which is called Paxos Made Simple. So if you are interested in uh, reading further, please read this paper. You can find it easily on the net. So let's look to a high level view of Paxos. So the basic idea, what we want, we want by using Omega, the eventual failure to, to elect one proposer. Okay. And this proposer, it's the only process that will propose a value, so and it just imposes the value on everybody, and everybody decides. That is very easily said, but very difficult to implement, because Omega is not, is not a perfect um, leader election abstraction, and what can happen is that several nodes might initially be proposers, and we get a form of contention. So we have so we have to solve this problem by using uh, what we call abortable consensus abstraction that we are going to see here, where a single node that believes he is a leader attempts to impose its pro This attempt might fail. It might be ignored or aborted. If there is contention, which means a number of different n proposals think they are the one that should propose, but eventually there will be one single proposer because Omega will ensure that, and that proposal will propose a correct value, and that will be the value that is decided upon. Let us let us go one step backward and say let us we assume we do not know anything so of course and we want to solve the consensus problem so an naive approach is to say let's have a centralized 
uh, solution. And in this, we can have multiple proposers, but they send the value to a central acceptor who's really the one that arbitrator that decides. The acceptor uh, decides on the first value it gets. And of course, we know what is the problem of this with this solution is that an acceptor is a single point of failure and therefore we have to have more uh, sophisticated algorithm and that is what we call in this uh, lecture abortable consensus and what it's going to do is that it's going to decentralize the decision so the proposer will talk to a set of acceptors assume for example three and so uh, this will be able to tolerate a failure and um, it's only if a majority of these acceptors agree on a value, for example, if it's an acceptor A, acceptor B, and acceptor C, if B and C agree on a value, say value 1, then we will have a decision. That is the strategy. Okay. And, and of course, this uh, will tolerate failure. Acceptors might fail, and we will see that was a very very simple extension that it works on the fair recovery model so acceptor might recover again and as long as there is a time with multiple acceptors that are alive uh, then a decision would be made 